When she left out that door, we were like, you know, like, what, what could we have done differently? Where were you at? What were you doing? <laughs> Back came out here this thing was full of water and I'm like I thought it had drain holes so I had to break out the good old trusty and put some holes in it it's okay Sansa <laughs> it's okay and it's playing we're having really nice weather right now Sansa you good you gonna watch your in for me okay let me wash this off guys you're watching my real life vlogs welcome back welcome back when did i start saying that at the beginning of my vlogs i don't even know i feel like i've been only doing it for like a week but i've probably been doing it for years <laughs> welcome back to another choppy vlog y'all right there's really no agenda today i'm just bringing you guys along in my every day so today is another busy body day actually did not go to the gym this morning y'all i woke up and i was like i'm getting some more sleep okay i didn't have to get up in the middle of the night to give ava her pacifier this time so i felt really grateful for just like being able to sleep straight through the night. So I wanted to keep it going and I did not want to get up and go to the gym. So I skipped it, but we will be going tomorrow. So I'll be making up for it. Well, actually I won't be making up for it. You can't make up for missed days at the gym. All you can do is move forward for a new day. <laughs> so I'm down here in the kitchen because, you know, Anne wanted to go out and play a little bit. Y'all, it's very, very nice outside today. It's like 65. So I wanted to let her go out and play for a little bit before it gets dark, but it's a very beautiful day. It's just really windy. So I was out there with her and I noticed like my pot was like full of water and I'm like, oh no, you know, I don't want to deal with this you know when it's time to plant the flowers so i went ahead and put those holes in the bottom i don't know how i missed that of all the rains we've had i don't know how i missed that that pot did not have drainage holes but anyway we got them in there now and my little technique with using my little gun with the drill bit that's usually how i put the drainage holes at the bottom of the pot let me know if y'all know a better way but that's the quick easy simple way so yeah ava's upstairs having a nap and i was getting some more amazon deliveries of some things i'm working on i went ahead and finished the closet i am all done i gotta stop myself at some point or i will keep going so I kind of got beside myself a little bit and when I show you guys you're gonna see what I'm talking about but I am all done I feel like I have plenty of room to bring in new clothes I don't feel guilty about shopping for more stuff because I got rid of three bags of clothes and there's not a speck of dust in there it's all clean and it's just ready for us to kind of continue to live in our closet space so I'm happy about that I went ahead and replaced those drawer and cabinet pools so I'll show you guys what that looks like in a second but let me show y'all what I'm doing in the kitchen <laughs> So I ordered some drawer pulls, girl, for down here as well. I decided I don't want any more of the brushed nickel. It just looks too builder grade. So I wanted to switch it all out for these nice sleek matte black ones. And I feel like this is a smart idea, y'all, just because like, we have a lot of hardware and fixtures that are matte black. So I just feel like it won't hurt and it will only complement, right? So I'm gonna switch those out. I already placed my order. I'm waiting on the longer handles to arrive. They have not delivered yet, but my short handles have. And I just did one just to test it and make sure the screws worked and that the measurements were on point. And they are, so I think we're good there. Quick intermission, just checking on Ann real quick. Looks like Sansa is holding it down. Y'all, Sansa is so funny. Like if Ann even goes near that gate, the door to the gate, Sansa just runs right over and just blocks her like you ain't getting past me. And then and of course, ain't nobody else gonna be able to get to that gate door either. Sansa is such a guard dog, like she really is. She's harmless. 
no, she's not. <laughs> so yeah, y'all, when the rest of the handles and stuff come, I'm gonna go ahead and put those up and I'll of course show you guys the results. Y'all let me know what y'all think, okay? I'm especially excited to see what it's going to look like on the island because we have like this dark cherry wood on our island and I think that black is really gonna look good on that brown like that. It's just something about black and brown that just screams like modern, expensive, you know? I just really, really like that combination. So I really look forward to getting these on here and just kind of being able to look over in my kitchen and really appreciate and like it, you know? It's all about just like being in your house and like looking around and being like satisfied with like everything that's in there. So we're getting there. We're not there yet, but that's the goal to kind of get to that point. And ta-da, we went ahead and switched out the infant seat on this trip trap and we put the high chair feature on there and we're really excited. Ava was able to sit in this today and hang out with the family and eat her little baby food um, and everything. So really, really excited. It was kind of bittersweet taking that infant piece off. I'm like, oh man, that face has come and gone. It was so quick. It felt like the blink of an eye, but she is ready to be sitting up like a big girl in her little high chair and I'm gonna keep the infant piece. It's over here. I'm gonna keep it because my little cousin, uh, they're pregnant. So um, yeah, this is who I'm going to give it to, I think, if they need it. So yeah, all that baby stuff that I have, right? I, I got a ton of stuff because y'all know companies were sending me stuff left and right. But at first I didn't have a recipient for that stuff and the goal was just to kind of donate it. But now I have someone to give everything to. So, yep. All right, it's almost time for Anne to come back in. So I made her some dinner here. We're back doing shrimp, sauteed shrimp, because she really likes that. And most of y'all know it'd be real hard trying to get Ann to like eat stuff, you know, especially if it's something that she's made up her mind that she's not gonna eat. Really, really difficult. So when she shows me that she's back interested in a particular food group or food item, baby, I'd be all over it. So we had those jumbo shrimp and I sliced them in half the long way just so it wouldn't be so overwhelming for her to chew and bite it. And uh, just sauteed it with a little bit of salt. You can't put too much seasoning. It can't be too many different colors. Keep it simple. Hopefully she likes it. Okay, this is Ann's dinner. Rice, shrimp, PB&J, tomatoes, cucumber, and some lemon water. It looks random, but this is how we have to build her plate so that we make sure she finishes all her food. Come on. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So, okay, mm -hmm. wash us, wash us. Mm -hmm. Wash us, wash us. Wait, gotta wash a little bit longer mm -hmm. before we rinse. Almost done. We gotta have clean hands before we eat food, okay? Mm -hmm. Ready? Okay, now we can rinse. I gotta clip your nails, they're getting long. We gotta clip them, okay? All right. Shake, shake, shake. Shake, shake, shake. Good job, Ian. Somebody liked their dinner. Yay, what a win. I'll take it as a win. Okay, into the closet, just showing y'all the final look. So this is what we did for the final look, the final spring refresh. <laughs> so I got rid of that vase that was right here y'all ended up just taking it back and i got these two bookends that are so much fun they're real marble so they're extra heavy because i forgot i needed somewhere to put these books right these fashion books y'all i'm like i need somewhere to put these those are really expensive books i'm like i'm not hiding them in some drawer so i figured i'd just have them sitting up here instead of the vase and i think uh it's a good decision so far you guys saw the rest of this stuff from my last vlog so nothing changed there and then over here i added three photos of me and my husband. I thought that would be cute right there. It just seemed like something was missing right there, like an opportunity was being missed. So I'm like, let me see about just putting a couple frames up. So I got these photos printed at Walgreens. They did not do a really good job with the prints, y'all. So I might eventually, um, have them printed over but for right now I'll just throw them up and the frames I got from at home they were actually 50% off on clearance so they were only six dollars each and the center photo area is 8 by 10 so I'm like this is a really good deal for some 8 by 10 photo frames you know everything is nice and organized I got all my shoes everything has been dusted and cleaned and you guys saw in my last vlog I added these velvet clips to all of my hangers not all of them but just like a nice amount so that I could hang skirts and things like that and then you guys saw these 
acrylic closet dividers that I ordered off Amazon. Those have been working out really, really great. So I got all of my bags over here. I can see everything. Y'all, it's gonna be great trying to put looks together. It's gonna be great. I'm trying to think what I should do about Anthony's Yeezys. He has two pairs of Yeezys in there that he doesn't want out of the box. But I hate the way those boxes look. They look like trash. So I'm gonna try to get like maybe those little clear acrylic shoe storage boxes and see if that works for him. And then I put all of our bins along the back, nice and uniform. There's all kinds of stuff in these, y'all, but it's organized. Each bin has a, its own category, so I'm not too mad at it. And then I did the acrylic dividers on this side as well for Anthony's hats. And then I switched out all of the drawer and cabinet pulls for these nice matte black ones. Nice and sleek, thin, cute. To me, it just changes the look so much. It doesn't look as builder's grade, you know, because this was a pretty cheap closet installation um compared to what it could have been we went with Home Depot so I mean it was it was pretty affordable and it looked affordable it is still does but I think the new handles kind of like gives it more of a sleek modern look so I like that and originally y'all know I was going to change the knobs on the island as well we actually bought that off of house and um, I decided not to I ended up sending those knobs back I had little circular matte knobs but what was happening is it was blending too much into the black it, it wasn't doing anything for the the unit because I tried a couple and I'm like I don't like this I think the nice silver look you know it's not super super shiny but I think having that contrast against the black helps it out so I think it, it still looks nice if I had made all those be matte black it was going to cheapen the look of the island trust me y'all so having that silver on there makes it look a little bit more expensive I think that's it so hopefully this motivates you guys to spring clean your closets or whatever I'm so happy to have all that crap out of here okay so we are all done in there finally okay I can focus on some other projects in the house and there are other projects trust me <laughs> Uh, it's almost time to get my backyard ready. I was thinking that when I was out there last night. I just got done filming, by the way, my fitness Q&A video, my postpartum weight loss Q&A video. So if you guys haven't seen it, I posted it earlier this week. So I'll put the links, you guys can go and check it out if you are curious. And I was trying to answer you guys' questions that were on my community tab. We were just getting to the bottom of some thoughts, you know, just discussing, you know, postpartum weight loss, kind of my why and just all that different stuff. So check it out after you watch this vlog. <laughs> so right now, Anthony is home from work early. He had court today, so he's sleeping and so is Ava. So it's really just me and Sansa roaming through the house, getting things done. There she is. Say hey y'all. Sansa said hey y'all. So yeah, like I said, I was just in here. Uh-uh Sansa, don't get on that. Don't get, don't get on that. She likes to sniff my stuff or her little nose. I don't want no wet nose on my stuff. So I was just in here recording and stuff. What was I saying? Oh, I need to be cleaning my house. Like I need to be general cleaning, but I'm like, I don't have the time. Might have to get the cleaning service back over here. I was trying to do it myself because it was a certain way I wanted to clean. I had bought some new cleaning tools and stuff and I wanted to try them out, but it's not looking like I'm gonna have time to do it myself because it's just so much going on. And Anne has a half day tomorrow. So I need to prepare for that, right? She's gonna be home a lot earlier. So I need to plan my day around that. And I just ordered a bunch of new spring pieces off of Amazon and I can't wait to share them with you guys. I'm gonna be doing like some outfit inspiration content and so you guys got to check it out but I'm really excited about some of this new stuff that I ordered. I'm trying to step into my postpartum style era you know and so just really been just releasing all inhibitions and just going after looks that I like you know and just trying new stuff so it's gonna be really really fun. <music> time shawty so y'all hey 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 i'm back with the same braids that are holding me hostage i just don't have time to take them out and i want them out still rocking it anywho it's the next day i think i'm in here fresh out the shower came home from the gym i'm getting ready to take these dirty diapers to the outside trash y'all see me with my spot treatment trying to treat these burns on my head someone had asked me a question on a couple videos back asking what happened yeah i burned myself with the curl wand so got myself real good so usually because like i burned myself like on my neck before and so usually you know it'll fade on its own but i'm just giving it a little help so i'm just kind of spot treating hoping to fade 
um, the appearance of those scars. At the end of the day, you know, I wear makeup when I'm doing anything important anyway, so either way, I'll have it covered. Um, but don't worry, y'all, I didn't fall and hurt myself. Nobody banged me upside the head. <laughs> I appreciate y'all asking, y'all are so sweet. So yeah, today is an interesting day because I'm expecting a bunch of deliveries as usual. Working on some little spring projects in the house, right? I got the closet done, so I'm really happy about that. Now it's time to move on to other areas of the house. Um, so let me grab this stuff as I head down. So I can hurry and head back up to check on Ava, but it's just me and her here, so she should be good. I'll be right back, sweet girl. Gotta get some stuff done, honey. That's a new mattress for her crib that we're trying out. Got a bunch of deliveries right here. It's just chaos. Y'all, look, look at the craziness in my family room. So those are all the couch cushions with the covers taken off because they had to all be put in the washing machine because Anne had a catastrophe type of accident down here. Probably one of the worst and burger accidents we've seen to date. Let me throw this away so I can talk to y'all. I'll be right back. I'm just gonna dump this in the trash outside. I don't play with dirty diapers, they stink. Oh my God, it is such a nice day outside today. We had some really bad rainstorms like through the night and earlier this morning and it's like night and day. Like when I left out for the gym, it was like pouring down raining. You know, it was all dark and looking like Gotham City and like now the sun is out, you can hear the birds, like it's just like night and day. But yeah, you guys, I'm working on my coffee nook. I'll show it to you guys very, very soon. I'm just waiting for a few Amazon deliveries, but I just kind of want to refresh it for the spring and I'm adding a little bit more of a feminine vibe to that area. Y'all know in my house ain't nothing really feminine, <laughs> but I want my coffee nook to kind of be that. Baby, I'm gonna be you can't do that. You can't do that. My sweet baby, my sweet baby. Okay, do y'all see my Dyson all broke down? Ignore the laundry, please. Um, I washed it out, and that's because after the big mess Anne made, I had to clean it with this thing, and it was just an absolute disaster. So, if you have a Dyson and you haven't cleaned it, this is your sign. It was so easy. Just break all the parts down, put it in here, and rinsed it. Don't look at my dirty mop. I gotta wash that mop head. So, this is what happened, y'all. Anne got a hold to my AG1 greens powder, and I went upstairs for a second. She was on her way to school, down here eating breakfast. I went upstairs to check on Ava, came back down here. She had the greens powder all over the place, y'all. It was everywhere. It was on the stovetop, it was covering the rugs. It was all on Ava's bottle situation here. I had to clean all this stuff out. It was all on the countertop. It was on the tops of every little surface, every little detail. It was greens powder. That powder is really fine and stuff, y'all, so it gets into everything. So it was all over the chairs and table, all over the floor, all over the carpet, all over the couches. Y'all, it was even on the ceiling, okay, because she had just taken it and just thrown it all in the air. Y'all, it really takes the patience of a saint, right, to deal with a child with intellectual disabilities it makes it a totally different type of challenge for parenting you know and I'm sure if you guys are in a similar situation you know exactly what I'm talking about it takes a lot of discipline and patience and so it took me and Anthony three hours to clean up all of the powder we had to mop a couple different rounds of mopping we had to take everything up and have it washed including the rug we had to scrub a dub we had to get on ladders and climb up to this ceiling like it was a lot it took us three hours and it was just really crazy y'all and it was right before she was going to school so of course her clothes were all covered with the powder. I had to change her clothes and actually had to throw the outfit away. It couldn't be salvaged. And then we had to quickly get her ready out the door because the bus had pulled up, right? When all this was going on. So it was so unexpected. I was not prepared for that kind of mess. But yeah, that pretty much took up my whole day yesterday. That's why I didn't vlog much. But you know, sweet little Annie Boo, she didn't mean to do it. She was looking so surprised when we came down here and we were like, what happened? It looked like freaking Oompa Loompa Land or something. Like everything was green. She was surprised. She didn't even, she didn't understand what the big deal was, but we practiced restraint we didn't yell at her we didn't really even react much to it I mean we were surprised but we tried to like keep it to a minimum because I didn't want to scare her and obviously I didn't want to cause any trauma and especially when she's on her way to school so we kept it cool but baby <laughs> when she left out that door we were like you know, like, what, what could we have done differently? Where were you at? What were you doing? You know, it was a lot of that, but we figured it out. We talked about it. You know, I was telling Anthony, you know, the problem isn't, you know, how much attention we put on her, right? No human being is going to be able to look after another human being 24 seven, especially when they have their own needs that need to be met. You know, there's going to be at least five minutes, two minutes where you're not going to be there and things will happen in that time frame. So trying to figure out ways to 
never leave her unattended that's unrealistic that's not sustainable what's more sustainable is figuring out ways to cope when things do happen you know how do we respond to this what is our plan you know what's the way we want to address it with her you know how do we want to try to explain to her that this is not ideal behavior things like that and it's hard and it's going to take lots of ups and downs lots of trial and error but we're just kind of tackling it one day at a time so i was really proud of how we dealt with it we didn't get into an argument or anything and we didn't make it traumatic for Anne. so kudos to us for getting through it but i'm telling you it was hard it took a lot of talking about it expressing how each one feels and just trying to figure out you know a game plan for like the next time you know and so with the powders and things you know i had to take some accountability for it you know can't be leaving stuff out on the counter have to really be putting things away um that pose a potential hazard for ann or will pique her interest and make her want to you know explore and decorate the house with the said item so it's definitely up to me to keep my stuff up in a way that's why we keep the cabinets locked and everything and you know just that response time you know because if we didn't come down here right away we wouldn't have even caught it and you know and it, the mess would have probably been even bigger than it was we have all the cleaning supplies needed to get the house back restored so i'm grateful for that you know we have a rug shampooer we have brooms and vacuums and everything else so you got to be grateful for the things the little things you know so she's at school right now let me go back upstairs and check on ava because she's up there like screaming <laughs> hey big girl Uh-oh, you dropped it. Uh-oh. Hey, you the one who dropped it. You the one. <laughs> so Anthony just brought the mail in. I just got a brochure from RH. I don't even want to look at it. This is for outdoor stuff. I, look. <laughs> I don't even want to look at it. So these are my powders, y'all. These are the ones Anne could not get to, the individual on the go packs. I'm actually about to have one right now. Y'all, this has got all the vitamins and nutrients that you need to kind of have, you know, sustain your daily nutrition. But also, if you're entertaining a workout routine, this is perfect for you to get all the things that you need. Okay, so my little cuppy cup, it can go in the dishwasher and survive. Just don't put it on the lower rack, put it on the top. So I'm just gonna release my powder. Let me open it over the trash can in case some of it wants to come out and it's just like it's a powder y'all so it's like super fine and so just like imagine this powder like all over your kitchen on every surface okay it was like that <laughs> i love these on the go individual packs because it just makes it so easy to get the amount that you need and all you have to do is just focus on getting the water it's so convenient I did not eat breakfast yet, so I'm gonna go ahead and just drink this really quick while I figure breakfast out, or lunch actually at this point. But I really like um, the green powder, y'all. I like the way it tastes. It kind of has a subtle hint of like pineapple, and you can taste that it's a greens, you know, kind of blend. But Anthony tried it and he didn't like it. But I don't mind the taste at all, actually. It's quite, quite nice. So I'm gonna drink this and I ain't gotta worry about my nutrients for the day. I ain't gotta worry about no supplements or anything like that. Everything I need is going to be in this beverage and it's gonna give me some energy to tackle the rest of my day and it's gonna be great. <laughs> and you know what? I'm just gonna store them right here in the pantry. Makes it easy just to grab and go. And y'all, I just got a letter from the Cozy Earth CEO and they extended a 40% off discount for me and y'all. So, hey, hey little baby. Hey, little baby. The discount is Vaughn 8641, and y'all can use it for 40% off for a limited time. Uh, I'm definitely about to use it because I love Cozy Earth. Like, they make bedding, loungewear, pajamas. It's awesome. Like, top tier, Oprah's favorite things, all that good stuff. So, yeah, y'all, make sure you check it out. And, yeah, thank you, Cozy Earth. That was so nice of you guys. Okay, here's what we're having for breakfast. Ezekiel bread. So, I got two slices of that. I'm going to add a slice of uh, cheddar cheese to that. Throw a couple more in here for the big guy. Next, we're gonna do some uh, egg whites. So there's a big chunk of egg white. I'm just gonna put that right on there. Baby, you made a lot of egg white. Was that a whole carton? <laughs> okay, so that's my egg white portion, a moderate amount of egg whites. But let me show y'all Anthony's egg whites. Okay, that's how he cup it, okay. I'm gonna add a couple slices of air fryer bacon because who in the heck is still frying 
bacon on the stove. If you don't put that bacon in the air fryer, girl, save yourself the mess. Okay, so I'm just gonna do, actually I'm just gonna do one piece of bacon. This is the pork bacon and um, I'll just cut it in half. Yeah, that's enough salt for me. Okay, so this is my breakfast. Oh, y'all are crooked. Crooked, crooked. Hey, sweet girl. You ready to go to sleep? Is that what's happening here? Y'all, she's cutting teeth at the bottom. I think some of y'all noticed that already. And um, as a result, so much drool is happening. And she's just chewing on it everything i can't even say i remember when ann was going through her teething phase i don't even remember what that experience was like so this is feeling kind of new yeah after i drank that ag1 it made me have like less of an appetite so let's see if i can get through this sandwich nothing hits like a breakfast sandwich y'all last night i made some soup i made a chicken sausage soup Real rustic, right? I just chopped up a little bit of leftover shallots that I had and I put some garlic, minced garlic, sauteed that in the bottom of a pot. Then I put in the chicken sausage. Once that got browned, cause it was already cooked, I think I put in some kale, probably like, maybe like eight cups of kale. And then once that got a little soft and everything was kind of like fragrant, I added in about six cups of water and then three bouillon cubes. And then I let that kind of cook. I also added some uh, tomato. Y'all know I can't cook nothing without tomato. And then once that was like hot and simmered and now all the flavors kind of came together, I added in like a half a cup of cream right on the finish. I wasn't measuring or anything. Of course, this was just a freestyle like most of my cooking is unless I'm following one of the recipes in one of my uh, cookbooks over there. But yeah, I be freestyling y'all. And so it turned out really, really good. I seasoned it, of course, with onion powder, salt, pepper. I put some basil leaves, some dry basil leaves in there. I tried to make it like an Italian, you know, rustic soup. And it was really just me cooking what I had up in here. It's a bunch of it left over because that's like a meal prep idea. You know, you make a big pot of soup. You can't go wrong, whole fresh ingredients for the most part, right? Except for the seasonings, everything is like natural and you're making it yourself. And it's only got a small fat content with the cream and the chicken but it's like really big on protein. You got your greens in there, you got your chicken. You can't really go wrong. Anthony said he really loved it. He ended up eating it when he got home from work, okay? <laughs> Look who's home. Uh-oh, you knocked the mattress over, Ann. She just put her shoes up like a big girl. You gotta wash your hands. Wait, we gotta wash your hands first. First, first, first wash your hands. Let's use this sink. First, turn on the water. Look at that big girl. First, here, here's the soap. First, time. time. Okay, we gotta scrub it up. Put the soap on the hand, just let it go right down the drain. We gotta, we gotta wash, wash, wash. 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 Wash your hands. Wash your hands. Wash your hands. Wait, and we gotta scrub a little bit more, huh? She's ready to rinse. We gotta scrub. Okay. There we go. Turn that water off. All done, turn the water off. Good job, here, give me those hands. Give me those hands, come here, mommy kiss. Wash your hands, I missed you today. <laughs> okay, so. <sighs> Girl, I'm thirsty, let me get some water. Annie, she's got her favorite little snaggity snacks. Dottie put this together for her. Y'all, Ann is into Capri Suns now, okay? This is truly my child, because when I tell you this was our favorite thing when we were kids. Oh, sweet girl. All right, usually when she comes home, I'll check and see how much of her lunch she ate. Not me and Anthony tag team and going up and down. I'm down here with Ann, he's about to go up there with Ava. I was just up there with Ava, he was down here with Ann. Okay, so I usually take out her um, AAC device. We get that out and have it where she can reach it. I check her lunch, and then I check her little school folder to see what homework or assignments or notes that I need to know. She's got these little bento boxes. I really love these because I can fit a bunch of goodies in there, and it looks like she ate everything. Y'all, I love when I see an empty lunch box. Okay, and then the notes say that she worked at a couple different stations today. She did desk work and then uh, she worked in a group. She did some special arts. She played inside today because it was raining and she completed all of every segment of work that was um, presented to her today. So she did a complete 100% and her mood today was happy. She had a safe body at school today, completely safe and she did not need 
uh, any uh, safety uh, reinforcements. So she did really, really good today. And actually most days her report is very similar to this. Um, and doesn't do like a lot of SIVs, so we don't have to worry about that too much with her. There are some, you know, she gets frustrated, but nothing too serious. And then for tomorrow, I'll fill out how everything went at home, and I'll send that back in this folder. We've been limiting her screen time, right? Um, not because we don't believe in it or any of that stuff, just because we want her to appropriately wind down for the evening when it's time for bed, and the screen time, like, it's a, uh, what do you call it? You don't know what we're trying to say. It makes her like, it makes her be like too upbeat, too energetic, too energized, right, at night. And so we need her to wind down so she can go to sleep proper and get the right amount of, of hours and you know everything. Because so far, Anne has been getting like nine hour, hours of sleep per night, which is great. We want to keep that up. So that's why we limit the screen time. So yeah, she's doing that. We usually let her have it at lunch so she can be calm and stay put and not be like running all around the house. But let me go check on Ava girl up here. <laughs> okay, I just put Ava to sleep, but I wanted to show y'all. Unfortunately, this is what happened to Anne's little playhouse. I don't know exactly when this happened, y'all. I'm thinking it happened either in the middle of the night or early, early this morning before the sun came up because when I put Anne in the bed last night, okay, this was not like this and she was not messing with it at all. She was in the bed and she went to sleep. I saw her sleeping. The tent was fine. This morning when you know, we we came in here to get her ready for school. We found this. So, yeah, she must have gotten up early, came over here and jumped on it or something. And it looks like the little aluminum bars in here are bent. And y'all know how it is with aluminum. Once it bends one way, if you try to bend it back, it's going to break. So we are going to see if Amazon has spare parts for the rods. Right. And if not, unfortunately... We're gonna have to get rid of this thing. It's so sad. Uh, but this is what happens a lot of times. Anne will like just break her stuff. She doesn't mean to, but she does. Hey, sweet baby. Hey. Dougie Hill. in surprisingly good shape to have just taken out some braids that have been in for a month and three days. I had a regular amount of shedding and uh, I guess a little bit of growth, I don't know. But I can't wait to wash and condition and style my natural hair. I kind of miss it, you know? Today is shaping up to be a very busy Friday. Look at all the hair on the floor right there. More Amazon deliveries on my dresser there. It just never stops, honestly. I've been doing a lot of returns though, so it's not like I'm keeping everything. Some stuff ain't fitting right. I don't know if it's obvious or not, but I'm like, I'm ordering stuff for like the spring. I think I kind of hinted at that when I cleaned out my closet, but yeah, I'm buying new clothes and stuff because I need it. You know, I lost the baby weight and stuff, at least most of it, the majority of it. She said, hurry up and get my bottle, mommy. Um, so, you know, I'm gonna reward myself with some new cute clothes and things, you know, some trendy stuff. Can't even, oh my God, she's so heavy. Anne will be pulling up real soon from school, on the school bus. Okay, you sit right here, Ava girl, and I'm gonna get your bottle ready, okay? Got Ava in her little chair. Play with your little toys, honey, while mommy gets your bottle ready. <laughs> Y'all, I always be saying yes indeed, when I talk to Ava. And it's so funny because my great grandmother used to always say yes indeed to us when we were little. And so I'm like, am I just a clone, right? We copy, we mimic a lot of um, the things that the elders would say when we were little. Are you guys like that too? You kind of find yourself saying the things that the grands and great grands said to you when you were little? Hey, mommy. Hey. You can hear that, you can hear that, 
So yeah, um, did I talk to y'all earlier? I don't even know. I look a mess, I need to put on a bra, oh my God. I went to the gym earlier and I've just been on my computer most of the day, you know, trying to be a good content creator and things. I just have a lot of ideas in this season of my life, like through the motherhood journey, the special needs journey, the fitness journey, the postpartum journey. I just have a lot of ideas around different areas of my life and I've just been like on a freaking creator rampage, just like, manic as hell you know but I, in a good way because you know it's feeding my creativity like i'm happy you know i'm energized so it's a good thing i just hope i don't burn out but yeah it's just i have a lot of ideas in my head like you know redecorating ideas trips i want to take it's just like everything and i don't know if this is like a postpartum symptom you know, like being really aggressive about living life, you know, I guess it, it could be. I have to talk about that with my therapist. <laughs> um, okay, Ava, let me get you going here. Anthony washed all her bottles when I was upstairs on the computer, so that was very, very helpful. And y'all, this weekend we have a lot of fun stuff coming up. My friend Erin, her daughter is having a birthday party at a really cool place, so we're going to go to that. And um, we have dinner plans with Anthony's sister. We're gonna try out a new restaurant in her neck of the woods and I'm so I'm so excited about that. Y'all know I'm a high key foodie, okay? And I love trying different quality foods. It's gotta be quality though. And don't ask me no questions about no damn breastfeeding. <laughs> we stopped breastfeeding long ago. It worked until it didn't and you know, I went through a phase of feeling really guilty and a little bit depressed behind having to stop doing it so soon. But I gave it my best shot and it, it didn't go for as long as I was able to do it with my first daughter, Anne. I was able to breastfeed Anne for six months um, and I only stopped it because I wanted to stop it. I had to stop with Ava, you know, and I didn't want to. So it kind of took a toll on me, um, but you know, I dealt with it. Things got better. Okay, I'm back. I went and put on a little bra or whatever. <laughs> I'm like, get it together, okay? Drinking my AG1, it's so good. Wow. Oh man. I didn't realize I didn't have the top on. If my floors and countertops could talk, they would be like, would you stop? <laughs> okay, let's try this again. Okay, with the top on this time, okay? But yeah, I'm having this. <laughs> I really wanna make Anna grilled cheese for her afternoon snack. But last night I forgot to place my, you know, I was placing an Instacart order and I forgot to put slices of cheese on there so we actually don't have any cheese. So we have to figure out something else. I did, however, not forget to put Philadelphia cream cheese on the list because I already had some smoked salmon, cold smoked salmon, and I already have capers, and I had tomatoes and everything else. So I'm like, let's do lox, right? But instead of bagels, I put it on my Ezekiel bread. And when I tell you, you can't even tell the difference, it gets the job done, you know? And you don't have to have the guilt of like, oh, I'm eating this bagel, this is not part of my diet plan, you know what I mean? So I ate that and it was like tons of protein, so good. I had that last night. Okay, there's the bus, let me go get Ann. Girl, not the attendant on the bus, right? It was a new attendant on the bus with Ann. Not him looking out the window talking about, y'all got a nice house. <laughs> I was like, thank you, you're so sweet. Here you go, sweet girl. You want your water? Oh, look at this. What popped up on here? Oh, when Kay was in town back then, she put this on our refrigerator. How sweet is that? Okay, Ann, you're getting tomatoes? Come on, let's sit down, sweet girl. Let's sit down so we can get the tomatoes. Okay, let me rinse these. Now let's get some carrots. <laughs> crackers or pretzels, Ann? Goldfish crackers. You want goldfish crackers? We don't have Orange. any. Orange? I think you want crackers. I think you want these crackers. How about these? Mm. Yes, indeed. <laughs> you go, sweet girl. Not Ann with the two screens facing her like she work in IT. Okay, Anthony just left out for work. Here's something funny though, y'all. Ann went in the pantry and took out some popcorn. That's how she says popcorn. Cause she wanted me to make her some, but she knows better than to go into the pantry. She knows mommy doesn't want her in the pantry. So when I came down here, she had the pantry back locked. Cause usually I keep it locked. She locked it back and closed it as though nothing ever happened. And still tried to like slide the popcorn to me so I could put it in the microwave for her. I was like, you know what? You earned the popcorn, Ann. 
how clever you earned it let's let's go let's let's get you the popcorn <laughs> the popcorn <laughs> okay so a few things came from Amazon a few deliveries arrived from Amazon which are going to help me to improve my little coffee nook back here so let me show y'all what I got okay while the popcorn is popping in the background I got some cute little glass and gold uh, syrup dispensers okay let me show y'all the syrup dispensers I've been using so I usually just order these euphoria ones right off Amazon and I usually just leave it right in its original packaging and just place it right on the counter to begin use immediately. And I decided I kind of don't want to do that anymore, right? Um, one, it keeps me stuck having to get these exact ones with the pump attachment already built in, whereas I could just be buying the syrup, any flavor I want, any brand I want, um, and then just pouring it into here as I want, you know, just whenever I want. So I decided to switch these out, so bye bye to these. And we're just gonna use these little dispensers, they're so cute and I feel like they're not too big, you know, they don't take up a lot of space. So I got a pack of three and it comes with these, it comes with these little um, white uh, labels, which I think are just so, so nice versus all the colorful branding of these. And so they have a lot of different flavorings on here. I mean, tons, it's about, I don't know, 10 or something sheets of different flavorings. So I checked to make sure the ones I have were in here, plus a bunch of other ones. So this is awesome. Okay, I also just went ahead and ordered some cute little gold uh, spoon stirs. Oh, let me get Ann's popcorn out before it gets soggy. You know how the steam can make it soggy, so I like to just get it out of the bag quickly and put it in a bowl. Here you go, Ann. Oh my God, Ava is upstairs like, come get me. Girl, go to sleep, it's nap time. <laughs> come on, Ann. Here's your popcorn. So let me wrap this up so I can get back upstairs. But yeah, I wanted these cute stirs, y'all, okay? The three pack of those glass jars came with its own stirrer. I gotta wash and clean all this stuff. So it came with its own. And then I got a bunch of other stuff that I found at Home Goods. That's it, just Amazon and Home Goods. So a little bit later, I'm gonna show you guys how it all comes together. I don't know if it'll be in this vlog. I'm not sure, we'll see. But you guys will see how it all comes together because I think it's super cute. And yes, indeed, um, I definitely have to wash this stuff really really good I'll probably wash it by hand you see that film and it has a, a, a smell right I'm not you know it doesn't stink it just smells like it's been handled I'm gonna go ahead and do that so that way everything can be dry when I'm ready to put everything to use oh yeah and one more thing I forgot to show y'all this thing I ordered it looks like crystal but it might just be glass I'm not really sure yet but so so cute y'all I think I'm gonna use this to put granulated sugar we do not use granulated sugar for anything anything because y'all know I don't even bake so we, ju we just don't use it I always have it though for two freaking reasons y'all when my father-in-law comes in town Anthony's dad and he, he he's a coffee drinker like me he's like where's the sugar like some people they have to have granulated sugar in their coffee me i just do sweetened creamer i don't even need you know a separate thing of sugar but old school baby so i always make sure i have sugar here for whenever uh, my father-in-law pops up I ha he has to have his sugar with his coffee i want to incorporate a cute you know sugar display over on my coffee bar and then like who knows maybe more people will want to add sugar to their coffee if they see it there you know because we do we have them like overnight guests a lot and stuff so i'll be wanting to make sure like my house is comfy and stuff <laughs> mommy's here mommy's here is everything okay is everything okay mommy girl you just hollering you just hollering mommy's baby you want a nap or what you want to play you want mommy to play with you? You want to hang out with your mommy? <laughs> Okay, y'all, I had to tend to Ava right quick, but I actually have some more stuff to show y'all. Where did I leave off? Okay, so I was telling y'all about these, right? Well, also in the order, you're gonna get this collapsible little miniature funnel, I guess, to get the fluid and the syrup or whatever inside the bottle. So there's that option. Oh yeah, and it comes with this little bamboo platform that you can sit it on. I don't know if I'm gonna use this because I got some other stuff instead, but it's nice that it comes with this. All right, I wanted to show y'all some stuff I got from Home Goods and to further embellish the coffee nook. So this is the stuff I got from um, Home Goods. These like really creative little coffee containers. As you can see, they were only $4.99 each. And what I'm thinking is I have like loose whole coffee beans from my espresso machine. So I'm, I figure I put some in one and the other one I'll just put in my loose tea. And it's supposed to guarantee freshness and everything else. But it's literally just a cork ball just kind of sitting down on that glass like that. But they say it's going to, you know, keep everything 
everything fresh, so I trust it. We're at least gonna try. Okay, I told you guys I was going for more of a girly, feminine feel. I won't even say girly, I'll just say feminine, right? Leaning into the springtime, leaning into, you know, some of the cream color notes and things that you see. So I got this faux flower vase thing, right? I thought it was a nice blend of like the green with some flowers. I don't know what kind of flower this is, but you know, it's giving springtime. This was only $19.99, maybe a little overpriced for a fake floral um, vase, but I thought it would be so cute to kind of, you know, experience this first thing in the morning when you get in your coffee, especially during springtime. Once we move into back into winter, I'm gonna switch out the floral look to something else. But y'all know I can't have real plants in my house. The only ones I can have are the ones in my bathroom because I can watch those very closely, but Anne destroys plants around here. Okay, really, really bad. And then with, when it comes to the flowers, we have to be extremely careful because some flowers are toxic when you ingest them and Anne is one to ingest um, the plant material because she doesn't understand the difference between, you know, fresh broccoli or fresh, you know, herbs in the refrigerator and then the plants growing in the pot in your house. Like she thinks it's all food. So we have to be very careful with that. So while I, I'm not a huge, you know, faux plant person. I, you know, I know it kind of seems like I am, but that's only because I love having plants and I can't have the live ones. So this is just like second best. You need more water, sweet girl? You got water. You got water, here. We're not gonna put more, you got water in here. Here you go. Enjoy your popcorn. Okay, let me show y'all what else I got from Home Goods. So I saw that they had these little sets, these little platform sets. Okay, what I like most is kind of like that rustic gold. It has like a little whitewash on it. So it's not like, it's like a very muted gold. It's not super metallic. You know, you know it's metal when you look at it, but it's subtle. And I think it complements these colored cabinets. So these two were $7.99. They had a bunch of these, y'all, a bunch of them. In fact, I had only bought one. And then when I got home, I realized having two would be really, really cute. So I went back and got the other one. <laughs> okay, I also picked up this cute little candle with some plant material uh, in the wax. I just thought it was so cute. The glass with the gold trim. Can y'all see that gold trim? And it smells so good, like I might even just put this in my bathroom, but I just got it because I was in the feminine feels and I'm like, oh, I want this cute candle, but I probably won't put it down here, we'll see. To go along with those trays, I got this two-tiered stand, right? I have a vision of maybe putting these on here, right? And then maybe putting some of my cute mugs up here on display. Some of the glasses that I kind of want to put on here are these, right? I ordered these on Amazon a couple of weeks ago. They come with the glass straws, but I have those put away. You know, I, I bought them to do like water infusions with fruit, but this could also be good for like iced coffee and things of that nature. So I think I wanna just put them out on this stand and then if I need it for something else, I can always use it for something else. But I think I wanna position these as like coffee accessories. I just like having all my options out on display for me. That's the luxury of having stuff, right? If you have the luxury to have stuff, it's nice to be able to have it at arm's reach and it's just like conveniently available to you. So that's kind of what I'm going for with this coffee nook. This is what it looks like right now. Let's take a closer look actually. Y'all know how my coffee nook looks. It's so plain. Um, It looks almost so plain that this could be like the coffee station in the dealership or like the place where you're getting your oil change. Like it's, you know, it's like just there. There's nothing inspiring about it. I have this cabinet up here with like all of my mugs and I usually um, keep the seasonal ones up towards the top. I have a ton of mugs but I don't get to show any of them off because I don't really have a practical way to do that. I just wasn't inspired in this by this space at all, but I kinda am now, so I wanna take a stab at fixing it up and seeing what we come up with. Sounds a girl. Hey, huh? She was outside for a little while. She got an attitude. She's like, why did y'all leave me out there? That is not my comfort zone. Oh, sorry, Santa girl. Anna's jumping in our bed. Okay, Anna, stop jumping. Anna actually just laid Ava down for a nap. She was like falling asleep when I was like playing with her and stuff. So I'm gonna go downstairs and straighten up the kitchen and make myself something to eat. And then we're gonna start our nighttime routine around here. So busy weekend ahead. I need to figure out what I'm doing with my hair, all types of stuff, y'all. And stop it. She's okay, y'all. I can see her right through this crack right here and she's just jumping off the bed. And stop it, stop it, okay? Jeez Louise. Okay, so mommy duty calls. Um, Salsa just farted. And stop it, stop. I will talk to you guys in the next one. Love you guys so much. I'll show y'all my coffee nook and everything in the next vlog because I gotta, I gotta do things, okay? So love you guys, bye. Oh my God.